I've always had dark fantasies, banker Rurik Jutting said in a video he recorded that just after he says he committed his first murder. A jury heard one grisly detail after another, as Cambridge-educated Jutting described hunting for, quote, prey and eventually slitting the throats of two Indonesian women in his Hong Kong apartment, crimes that shocked this normally safe city. Jutting told police he tortured his first victim over three days using pliers, a rope and sex toys and went into detail about his perverse desires in iPhone videos show to the jury, saying he would like to, quote, kidnap and keep captive and torture, rape repeatedly, basically young girls. Just before the first murder, Jutting quit his $560,000 a year job at Bank of America. His crimes fueled by a cocaine and alcohol-filled frenzy. He says in one of the tapes, he blew through a million dollars on prostitutes and drugs. Two years after the killings, this detention centre photo shows Jutting's drastic weight loss. His victims worked here in Hong Kong's Wan Chai district, where everything from alcohol, drugs and even sex can be had for a price. Able to earn far more here in Hong Kong than in their native Indonesia, they both sent money home to support their families. Samati Ningsi was just 23 from a small rural village in central Indonesia. She leaves behind a young son. For two years now, I experience pain that can't be healed, her mother says. She wants the killer brought to justice and demands he assumes financial responsibility for her family. The second victim, 26-year-old Seneng Mujiasi, was known as Jessie in Hong Kong. Her friend, Robert Vandenbosch, said she dreamed of returning home to retire. Personality was strong. She stood on her two feet. She didn't need any help. She was trying to make a better life for later. In the two and a half week trial of Hong Kong's High Court, Jutting's guilt has never been in question. His lawyers have argued, though, that he should be convicted of manslaughter charges, not murder, saying he acted as a result of a drug and alcohol addiction, a narcissistic personality, and a sexual sadism disorder. In the end, the jury was not convinced that his mental state diminished his responsibility for the crimes. Now a convicted murderer, Jutting will spend a life sentence behind bars. Andrew Stevens, CNN, Hong Kong.